Okay, this is uh, how to change your oil on your Hammerhead GTS or other uh, go-kart. This is on a GY6 engine. Here's the oil dipstick right here to check the oil. And that is really, that's dark. That definitely needs a change. All right, and this takes 10W40, as I shared before in some other videos. And to change the oil, there's a drain plug right where my finger is under here. Okay, I'm not sure if I can get down there close enough to show it to you. Uh, let me get a different angle. Uh, okay, here we go. This is the drain plug. It's a 17 millimeter bolt on here. I'm gonna take out the 17 millimeter bolt and this is where your oil is going to come out. Now, you can see where that comes out. That's going to drip right on this plate and straight down under. So I'm going to put something under here to catch this, catch the oil, and have it run down right into my oil catch. And that will keep this area under here from getting all gooped up with the oil from that drain plug. But before I do any of that, I'm going to give this a quick hose off uh, with some water and I'm going to take a light brush just to scrub this briefly uh, because you do not want any dirt getting into that crane case. So this should be clean and it's not going to take long. I got my hose and I got a brush. I'm going to go to town. I'm going to stop this and hose this off.
All right, I had a little uh, scrub brush I used, and I had some uh, McGuire's car wash, uh, some sort of car wash soap, or even a dish detergent would work. Um, just soak down the parts of the motor that you're going to clean, put some on the uh, brush, and then scrub. And this is wet now. This is going to dry, and after this is dry a little bit, then I'm going to take that plug out and uh, drain the oil. Okay, I made my cuts. This is what's left, and this is going to form like a little chute for that oil to run right down and into there. I cut the top a bit, down the side, and then completely cut the bottom part out. You don't want any of these little bumps and dips down where the oil is going to be coming out. So I got those pieces off, now I'm going to set it up and get ready to uh, change that oil. Okay, I'm going to loosen that bolt up. Okay, that's loose right now. I'm going to get my knife in place. Get my little contraption in place here. Might need two hands to do this get it started. Okay, looks like it's there. And if I can just kind of spin that off. It's still on tight. Whoops. Again, I'm just trying to make this neater because, and you can see I'm struggling with it a little bit, and that's because you would too. So you get to see the real, what it's really like trying to do this a little bit neater. And let's see here. Yep, there it is, it's starting to drip. Starting to drip. There it goes. Yep. That's what I was hoping. It's draining right down there. Perfect. Whoops. Perfect. You can see it draining out. It's draining into that part of that two liter bottle. It's acting like a little trench just to let that oil drip right down and into the oil pan. 
This makes it a little bit neater. Okay, I'm going to shut this off. Okay, at this time, looks like it's done draining oil. So let's sit there for a little bit. I've got the cap here, and it has that rubber gasket around there. I don't want to lose that. And you've got the spring here. Now there is also a screen which should be in here. And that needs to be cleaned too. So uh, there it is. Here it comes. Alright, that's the screen and I'm going to clean this off with some carbon choke cleaner. It's got some sediment on there. Let me stop this and get that cleaner. some carbon choke cleaner and you can see how much cleaner that screen is right now that made a big difference I'm gonna be really careful with these don't want to get any dirt on them cleaned off the spring and cleaned off the cap I'm gonna wipe these out with a rag a clean rag and then put them back in I go in screen goes in first like this, then the spring, and then the plate. Actually the spring, go the screen goes like this, and it's going to slide into the spring. It's going to slide into the spring, and go in here like this, and this whole assembly is going to go back into the uh, drain plug where it came out That's how it should look cap spring and the screen different size funnels and all of them would work all of them would work fine I'm going to use the longer one because the small one here although it goes in there it's real close to things so I can get be able to fill the oil a lot easier out here and uh, you want to fill it up to the top of that filler neck that's what the manual says to do it says it takes 30 ounces of oil. Okay, I'm putting in the uh, 10W40 and I'm using a Mobile One, the Advanced Full Synthetic. Any type of full sy synthetic would be really good for a motor. It only costs a little bit more, but these are small engines and you want to take care of them. Uh, so I think this was somewhere around $8. For a, a quart, you can buy it cheaper if you get it five quarts at a time, or maybe find a different brand, uh, some sort of pure synthetic. Uh, SAE 10W40 is uh, what it takes. And uh, um, that's it. Okay, before you put your dipstick in, again, you want to make sure that it's clean and there's no debris around there. That can get inside the motor. All right, now it's nice and clean, good and tight. All right, this should start up. Let's check it out. All right, here we go. Back right up, take it out of park, toward the shifter, push it over toward the driver, pull back, reverse. And that's neutral, over, back, reverse.
thing. Over in the neutral, parking brake on. Alright, that's good. Nice.